What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to play an A major chord on your guitar, and that's coming up right after this. All right, so the traditional way to play an A major chord on guitar is like this. We are going to first skip this low E string. That one's not in there at all. This is just a five string chord. The first string that we actually play is this A string and we wanna do it open. And I guess that makes sense, right? Like A string, A major chord. So we've got an open A. Next, the first note that we actually press down is the second fret on the D string. All right, then we have a second fret on the G string. And then we have a second fret on the B string. And then the last note is gonna be an open high E string. Like that. Now all this together sounds like this. So once again, we have open, two, 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 open. So that's open, two, 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 open. Got it? Now, I know a lot of people have a hard time cramming all their fingers into that second fret area. Um, and one way that you can kind of get around this is to do something called a bar, which basically just means that you clamp your finger across those second frets like this. And I don't know if you can hear the difference between those two. Here's, here's that first one. And here's the bar. Well, we're, what's happening is we're missing out on that high E string. So the reason for that is because when you're barring or like clamping your finger down across those frets there, you can't really bar and keep your fingers curled at the same time. Like it just doesn't really work um, when you're just doing one finger like that. So what happens is you end up sacrificing that high E string to get those bars across on the second fret. But that's not to say that that way is wrong, it's just different, and to be honest, we're not really missing out on any important notes anyway. The only note that we're missing out on is that high E string, and right here on the second fret of the D string, we have an E already. So we're really, if you're clamping it or barring it, you're really just cutting out a doubled note. So like I said, we're not missing anything important. So don't let that stop you from using that way if that's the way that works best for you. Personally, I don't really like this way. Um, maybe it's just because I'm so used to the other way, but I have been known to use it in certain situations. It really just depends on what's going on and how fast the song is. It might be a little bit easier to switch to that A major chord with a bar than it is the traditional way. But it really just depends on the song. Anyway, so you'll have to kind of figure out which way that you like better. Um, there's really no right or wrong way to play it. It's just kind of up to you and what sounds best to your ears. If you don't mind missing that high E string, then try the bar if you think that's a little bit easier to play. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped. If it did, let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. Also, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the new videos. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.